Welcome to another video of our Telerik Tips series. In this video, we'll be discussing how to add custom Cordova plugins. As you can see, we've got three different methods. We're going to start with the first one via the plugin marketplace. I'm already logged in into the platform. Telerik. I'm going to create a new workspace. Let's give it a name such as demo workspace and then click on the create button. Now I'm going to create an app builder hybrid project under this workspace. Instead of starting from scratch, I'm going to start with a sample project and clone the airline sample app. Let's change the project name and call it airline demo and then click on the create project button. Now that the environment is ready, I can right click on the project, manage packages, plugins marketplace, choose the platform that I would like to target iOS, Android, Windows Phone 8 or the three of them, look for one of the plugin, let's say social sharing, select it. And then as you can see, all of the plugin details are available at the right hand side, as well as I can click on the install button. And this will import the plugin automatically into my project. Yes. And now it has been completed successfully. Now that the plugin has been added, let's get more details about this plugin via the Telerik Verified Plugins Marketplace. The URL for this one is plugins.telerik.com where all the verified plugins by Telerik are listed. Let's search for the social sharing plugin. Search. Click on it. As you can see, it includes all of the details about the social sharing plugin, when to use it, some documentation, sample code, the GitHub repository, as well as some screenshots at the end. Now let's go back into the documentation section where we can have a look at the code. Window.plugins.socialsharing.share As you can see, we've got as parameters, message, subject, file, URL, success, and error callback functions. Back to our project. Prior to making any code change, let's go to the properties, plugins, and make sure that the social sharing plugin got installed properly. Another way of installing other plugins via the install button that will redirect us to the same plugins marketplace window. Now let's check the code behind the index.html file and look for a button called check-in. Here we are, and now I will be adding another button called share. And as you can see, the code behind this button is window.plugins.socialsharing.share. Thanks for watching as a message, Telerik tips as a subject, the Telerik platform image URL as the file, and the plugins.telerik.com as the URL. And for sure, I added the on success and on error functions. As we all know, the plugin won't function properly on a simulator, therefore I got it into my device via App Manager. I encourage you to watch another video on how to distribute apps via App Manager. Here is our check-in button and the share button behind it. Let's go ahead and click on it. We have the option to share via SMS, email, Twitter or Facebook. Let's go for email. And here we are. We've got the Telerik tips as a subject. Thanks for watching as a message plugins.telerik.com as the URL and the Telerik platform image as the file attached. Now let's move to the second method and see how we can add custom plugin via the provided sample. For this one, back to the plugins.telerik.com and specifically to the social sharing plugin where we have two options, either to try the plugin in App Builder or to download it manually. Let's go ahead and try the plugin in App Builder. In the background, this is going to clone the GitHub repository of the sample into my Telerik platform account. And now that the solution is ready, if I check under the plugins folder, I can see the social sharing plugin as well as all the code behind it. Now let's go and check the index.html code, where as you can see, we've got multiple buttons and different ways of sharing behind each one of them. I encourage you to stop the video, get the app up and running on your device and try each one of them. Now let's move to the third method via manual download. Back to the social sharing plugin where I can manually download the plugin into my machine. Save. Now that the plugin has been downloaded successfully, back to the platform under the demo workspace, 
I'm going to create a new app builder hybrid project. This time it's going to be a blank one. Let's give it a name. Manual project. And then click on the create project button. Now that the environment is ready, I can right click on plugins, import plugin, browse to the plugin, upload, yes, and by that the plugin will be imported into my project. Let's check under the plugins folder, you can see the plugin as well as all the code behind it. Thanks for watching another video of our Telerik Tips series.